Pink Bunty May and today we're going to be making rainbow pinwheels. I'll take you through it step by step and show you all of the tools and materials that you need. Okay so what we're going to need to make our rainbow pinwheels is a range of eight triangles. Now I've used um, perfect squares from an origami block as they make it really easy to just cut straight diagonally from corner to corner and then you get the perfect shape that you need for the pinwheels. We also need a small square for the centre, which I'm just going to use one of the other colours. It's about three centimetres by three centimetres. We then need a small circle for the middle of the pinwheel. I'm going to use one of these shape cutters, which gives me a nice neat circle but you can just use scissors if you don't have a, a hole punch. We need then a pin. These are nice short pins. Um, you can get them from most stationery shops. It's best to go for a short pin over a long pin. Okay and then finally we need our handle. So what I've used here is a stripy straw with a bendy straw in the middle and then I've sealed the end with some hot glue which means when I stick my pin in, it will hold nice and securely inside the neck of the straw. If you don't have a um, hot glue gun or the two separate types of straws, you can just use a just a paper straw on its own and stick the pin just through here. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start off with our small square. What we're going to do is we're going to fold it diagonally to make a small triangle. And then if we unfold it, we're going to do the same in the opposite direction so that when we unfold it, we have a nice cross in the middle. We're going to use this as a guide to line up our first square, or our first triangle in fact. So we're going to use the red one first. We're going to grab a glue stick and we're just going to pop some glue on the top of the pyramid there. And then we're going to line that up nice and neatly inside one of the folds that you've created in the square and then we're going to take an orange triangle and we'll do the same with that glue on the top and when we stick this one down what you want to do is you want to stick it in the center there but straight down the middle of the red so we're cutting the red one in half like so and with the yellow one pop some glue on there when we stick that one down straight through the center of the orange it'll line up nicely with the red. I'm going to now go around the triangle with all the different colors. Okay so when we get to the pink one if we were to lay the pink one straight across like this through the purple we'd be covering up the red. So what we need to do is we need to slightly peel back the red at the base there so that we can slide the pink one behind it like this and then that lines up with the baby blue straight down the middle of the purple and then we can fold the red one back over the top and we're halfway to making a pinwheel so now what we need to do is we take each of these spikes the colored spikes pop a bit of glue on them and fold them into the center now this will allow our pinwheel to spin so what we, what we want to do is we don't want to flatten that down. What we want to do is we want to keep a nice little loop so that the wind can blow through it and allow your pinwheel to spin. So I'm going to go around popping some glue on each of the colours and folding them into the centre. Okie dokie. Almost complete. We just need to take our circle now I'm going to pop some, some glue just on the whole circle which I'll then stick right into the middle of my pinwheel like that. I'm then going to take one of my pins let's go for a blue one and I'm going to pop that in the middle there like that so it comes out the other end 
And then I'm going to take my straw and I'm going to very carefully push the pin straight through the hot glue. So the pin will be hidden inside the neck of the straw. It takes a little bit of force this, you've got to be very careful. You want to leave just enough gap for the pinwheel to still spin. So you can loosen it up a little bit if necessary. Like that. And then we have our pinwheel.